math lesson 38. Welcome everyone, we're glad to see you again. Can everyone say hello? Hello. Hello. Let's get started with meditation. Very good. Show me your two fingers. Everyone have a seat. All right, we'll use them to find our heart center, right? We're looking for our heartbeat here. Our other hands open in our laps. We take a deep breath in and push it down. Good. Close our eyes. Meditate for just a minute or two. Relax your body. Relax your mind. Be aware of your breathing in and out. Once we can feel our heartbeat here, lay our other hand in our lap. Keep that feeling, that focus in your heart center. We're calm and relaxed, breathing in and out. focused on our heart center. We're aware of our breathing. Calm and relaxed. everybody. We'll slowly open our eyes together, come out of meditation with three deep breaths. Ready? One, in, out. Good. Very calming. Two, good. Nice and slow. Don't rush it. Three, very good. Good, now stand up with me, great. Yeah, what do we do first? Yeah, we stretch up towards the sky. Stretch. We can lace our fingers together, right? And go up like this. Yeah, and we can feel it in our arms this way. Good, stretch, and then? Shake it out. Shake it out, shake, shake, shake it out. And then what? No, then what? Down, we touch our toes next. 
get too excited about the spin. Touch your toes. And then shake it out. Very good. Shake, shake, shake it out. And then that. Then we spin. Very good. How many times? Three times. Very good. But wait. First, I want you to spin this way as fast as you can. Very good. Two, I want you to spin this way as slow as you can. So slow, very good. And three, I want you to spin back this way on one foot. Whoa, very good, very good. What do we do next? Jump. Jump, jump. very good. We jump how many times? Three times, good. But wait, first I want you to jump backwards. Very good, backwards, good. Two, I want you to jump as high as you can. Very good. All right, now listen. This is a tricky one. Three, I want you to jump forward on one foot. Very good. You're listening. Very good. Forward on one foot. Excellent. Have a seat and we'll get started. We're doing more subtraction today. Yay! Good. Subtraction. Good. Subtraction. Yeah, right? When we subtract, we... Take away. Take away. Very good. We take away. We make a number smaller. Subtraction. So I know you're tired of seeing these, but we're going to go over the three strategies again because it's important to know. All right? Subtraction. Very good. Subtraction. So the first way that we learned was to draw circles, right? Or visuals, right? The idea is to draw. Just like we did with the teeth yesterday, remember? Last, last lesson we covered the teeth. That's how we subtracted. It's just like that. The idea is a visual representation. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take away how many? Five. Take away five. Take away one, two, three, four, five. How many's left? Five. One, two, three, four, five left. Very good. Okay. So we can always draw. Draw a visual. Circles are easy. Draw a visual. Good. What's the next way we can do subtraction? Hey. Using our our hands and our fingers. fingers. Good. That's another way we can subtract. My, my hands. Show me on your fingers. Show me nine. Hey. Good. Show me nine on your hey. fingers. Hey. Good. Hey. Take away one, take away two, take away three. Six. Six left. Very good. Nine minus three equals six. six. Good. Six. Good. And then the last way, we can always make a number line. Very good. You're too fast for me. Good. We can always make a number line to do our subtraction. So if we have eight minus five, do I start here? No. No. Do I start here? Do I start here? Yeah, I start at eight. And then do I go forwards? No. No, because we're not adding. Do I go backwards? Yes, because yes, we're taking away. Take away how many? Three, five. How many? Five. Five. Take away one, two, two three, three, four, four five. five. So what's my answer? Three. Three. Eight minus five equals three. 
Okay? Different ways to do it. Whichever way is easiest for you, okay? So before we move on to our activity for this lesson, let's practice our subtraction rhyme, okay? So everyone stand up. Do it together. Yeah, you remember. Good. We're up and we're ready. Show me that you're ready. Good. All right, so just like last lesson, the first time we're going to whisper. Okay? Whisper. Show me your best whisper. Subtraction, subtraction. <gasps> minus, minus, hey. Okay. What can we make smaller today? When we subtract, we take away. Very good. All right. One more time. Good. And I want to hear you nice and loud this time. All right. Subtraction. Subtraction. Minus, minus, hey. Minus, minus, hey. Good. What can we make smaller today? When we subtract, we take away. Very good. You guys are excellent at that. Have a seat. So for today's lesson, we are going to do word problems. Word problems. We did this for addition as well. Today we're gonna to do subtraction word problems, which means it's really important that we listen, okay? We're listening and we're gonna write equations. We're gonna do examples first. So if I said, Nadia has five pencils. Five pencils. How many pencils does she have? Five. five. Right? How many pencils does she have? Five. Five. Good. Okay. Pot took away two pencils. One. Took away. How many did. Wait for me. How many pencils did Pot take away? One, two. two. Right? He took away two. Nadia had five. Pat took two away. How many are left? Three. How many? Three. Good. So if Nadia had five pencils, Pat took away two minus two. Five. Take away one, take away two. Three. Nadia has three pencils left. Okay? See, we listen to the word problem and pull out the numbers, right? And we solve the equation. All right, we're gonna do another one together. So, <clears throat> Q has eight bananas. Q has eight bananas. How many bananas? Eight. Eight. How many bananas? Eight. Eight. Show me eight. Good. Eight. Two has eight bananas. Good. Pata took five bananas from two. Pat How many did Pata take? How many did he take? Five. Pata took five bananas away. Minus five. Two had eight. Pata took away five. How many bananas are left? Three. Very good. How did you know? We had eight bananas. Pata took away five. One, two, Three, four, five. Three. Three left. Very good. Three. Okay? Okay. Good. So now you, you all get to practice. What we're going to do now is I'll pass out paper. I'll say the equation. You listen and write. Okay? Solve it on your own. 
We're not talking, right? And we're not calling out the answer. If you know it, oh, oh, it's five. It's five. Shh. Write it. Write it down, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. Ow. Okay, well. Show me a pen or pencil. Got something to write with? Let's write our name on our papers. Very good. Perfect. Ready to listen? Show me your pen or pencil. Show me that you're ready. Okay, good. I'll repeat it as many times as you need. All right, here we go. Maddie went to the market. Shh, no, no, just listen. That's not it yet. Maddie went to the market and she bought five apples. Maddie bought five apples. Good, yep, pull out the number. Maddie bought five apples. Yes, yep. Yes, you're all doing great, don't worry. <laughs> Maddie bought five apples, all right? Her sister took two away. Her sister took away two apples. Good, her sister took away. We're not adding, we're taking away. Yeah, remember, so we're not, we're not doing plus, we're doing minus. Yes, that's good. So write your answers. Good. So how many apples are left? How many are left? Shh, don't tell. Write it. Sorry. I want you to write the answer. Good. All right, when you are finished, show me your pencil. Let me know that you're finished. Okay, Cassie has eight mango trees. Cassie has eight mango trees. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so there's our first number. Cassie has eight mango trees. Good. She cut down or took away how many? Three. Good. She took away three mango trees. She took away three. So there's our equation. It's very good. Yep. So write it. Solve it on your own. We're not saying the answer out loud. Cassie had eight mango trees. She took away three. How many are left? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Remember, we can use our fingers to subtract, or we can draw circles on our paper. Whatever is easiest for you, whatever you prefer. Great, when you are finished, show me your pencil. Show me that you're ready for the next one. Very good. Uh oh, I'll get it, bud. Here you go, my friend. Are we ready? We're listening. Lexi has two fish. Lexi has two fish. Good, there's our first number. Lexi has two fish. Very good. Listening. Her brother took away one fish. Her brother took away one fish. Good, there's your equation. Shh. 
toy. Lexi had two fish. Her brother took away one fish. How many fish are left? Took away. We're minusing. We're not adding. Very good. Okay, solve. We're writing on our own paper. We're solving the subtraction equation. Minus, minus, hey. Very good. Okay, give you a minute to work. Let me know you're finished by showing your pencil. Pencil, pencil. Good, finished. Are we finished? Good, okay. We're listening. Rick has seven rocks. Seven. Rick has seven rocks. Very good. There's our first number. Rick has seven rocks. Very good. All right. Lucas took away four rocks. Lucas took away four rocks. There's our second number. How many are left? Rick had seven rocks. Lucas took away four. How many are left? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll go over them together. Use your fingers, Pat. Don't guess. Count. Rick had seven. Lucas took away four. One, two, three, four. How many? Yeah. Use our fingers. When in doubt, use your fingers. We're writing this on our own paper, everybody, and we're not giving the answers. Okay, when we're finished, show me a pencil. Very good. Okay, finished. Great job, everybody. Now we're going to go over the answers together as a class, okay? So I've got a PowerPoint, pay attention to that, and we're gonna check our answers, make sure we did it. Okay, ready? Here was the first one we did. It said, Maddie went to market. She bought five apples. Five apples, right? This was the first one we did. Look here. One, two, three, four, five. Good. She or her sister took away two apples. Take away one, take away two. How many apples are left? Three. Three, very good. So our equation should have looked like this. Five minus two equals three. Did we get that? Yeah. If you didn't, write it down. If you wrote down something else, now is the time to fix it. Five minus two equals three. Very good. Okay, good job. The next one. Cassie had eight mango trees. She took away three, right? So here are mango trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She took away or cut down three. Take away one, take away two, take away three. How many are left? One, two, three, four, five. Five left. So our equation should have looked like this. Eight 
minus 3 equals 5. Good. Did we get that? Yeah? We should have written 8 minus 3 equals 5. Good. Very good. Yeah. All right, here was our next one. Lexi had two pet fish. Two, right? One, two. Her brother took away one. Took away one. One. How many are left? One. One, very good. So our equation should have looked like this. Two minus one equals one. Very good. Two minus one equals one. Very good. Yes, ma'am. That is correct. Very good. Two minus one equals one. All right, let's look at the last one. Rick had seven rocks. Seven. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lucas took away four. Lucas took away four. Take away one. Take away two. Take away three. Take away four. How many are left? Three. How many? Three. Three. Good. One. Two, three. So our equation should have looked like this. Seven minus four equals three. Seven minus four equals three. Very good. Good job. Think that one okay? Good? So we've corrected anything that needed corrected on our own sheets. Now they're ready to be picked up. Okay, good job. So I will collect our worksheets. Good, let me know that you're finished. And we'll move on to something else. Is that a bat? Cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Great job, everyone. I know that was a lot of English words. We did a really good job. Next, I want to play a game. Yay! Yay! So we have played this game before. It's going to be subtraction bingo. I'll show you the sheets we're going to use. You'll probably recognize these sheets. Yeah, we played this game with addition, too. So we're going to play again, but this time minus. We're doing minus, right? So just to remind you, everyone's got a sheet, all right? So teacher will put a subtraction equation on the board. Let's say nine minus six. What is nine minus six? Three. Equals? Three. Three, very good. We can use our fingers, figure it out. Nine minus six equals? Three, three right? So we find a three, yeah. and we cover it, right? We cover it, good. This time, now that we've played the game before, I wanna point something out. Sometimes there's two. See how here's a one, and here's a one, right? There's two ones. This time, since we played before, only cover one. Right? We're not going to cover two at the same time. All right? We're just going to cover one at a time. I'll show you as we go along. Okay? No, no crayon. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Very good. So my class is going to use clay. I recommend using clay or Play-Doh so you can reuse the sheets, but you can always just color in as well, whatever works, okay? 
So everyone's got their sheets. We've got something to cover the numbers with. Show me that you're ready by putting your hand up. Show me your pencil. Show me that you're ready and you're listening. Ready? Good. Okay, here's the first equation. So you guys will solve on your own, cover the answer. And remember, we're trying to get four in a row to win. Remember, that's how we win. Okay. Here's our first equation. Seven minus two. Solve. Cover your answer. Very good. Seven minus two. Becca, what is seven minus two? Equals five. Equals five. Very good. Yeah, so just cover one five this time. Just cover the one. Yep. Good. Pat, just cover one five. Because we'll get it again. There you go. Just cover one five. Good. This time I'm gonna, just one. We'll keep track of the answers over here. That way I can check the winners. I don't know how to spell answers. Very there good. Seven minus two equals five, right? Just a quick reminder, our sheets look like this, right? Remember, you want one, two, three, four in a line. That's how you win. I win. I win. Okay? Or, or you can have four covered this way. That means I win. I win. Yeah. So it can go this way or this way. Okay? When you win, let me know. Say, I win. I win. Okay, good. Ready for the next equation? Let's do 10 minus zero. Solve and cover your answer. Yeah, five was our first answer. Very good. Ten minus zero is what? Equals ten. Very good. Whoa. Ten. So if you have a ten on your board, cover it up. Cover it up. Okay? Okay. Ready for the next one? Ready? Let's do six minus five. Six minus five. Solve. Cover your answer. What is, show me six. Six, take away five. Equals, how many was left? Yeah, what? Mm -hmm. One, six minus five equals one. So if you have a one on your board, cover it up. Okay. Very good. Here's the 
next one? Eight minus six. Solve eight. Tia, show me eight. Show me eight on your fingers. Eight. Yes, that is eight, but we have to solve the answer first. Show me eight. Boom. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Now, take away six. Take away one. Take away two, three, four, five, six. How many's left? How many? Two. Yeah, two. That's right. It's two. Eight minus six equals two. So if you have a two on your board, cover it up. Very good, moving on. Let's do Here's our next one. Four minus one. Solve it and cover your answer. Oh, so sorry. Four minus one. Very good. What does it equal? Four minus one equals? Three. Three, very good. So if you have a three on your board, cover it up. Just cover up one if you have two. Okay. You're getting close. Yep, you're getting close. All right. Let's do... That's fine. Let's do this one again. Seven minus four equals three. Another three. Yeah, another three. All right, if you don't have one, then don't worry about it. So if you have another three, you get to cover it up. Well, it's all right. It's okay. Part of the game. All good. Some people do have two threes. Ready? Oh, ho, ho. Okay. Okay. Next one is 10 minus 1. 10 minus 1. No 9? Show me 10. Take away 1. How many? Five. Yeah. Very good. That's not nine. Nine. So if you have a nine on your sheet, cover it up. Very good. Oh, no nine. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 
ready for the next one? Let's do nine. Minus two. Nine minus two. I'll give you guys a minute to solve, see if you have any other winners. Mm -hmm. Nine minus two. Nine minus two equals? If you have a seven, cover it up. Seven, cover it up. All right, and I think we had a winner. Do we have a winner? Yeah? Very good. So look at Prao. She's got one, two, three, four covered in a row. Yay! Yay, that means you win. Did anybody else win? Okay, good. My class, we're going to wrap up. So, clay, put your clay together, put it away. We're finished. I'm going to come pick up the sheets. Okay, thank you so much, everyone, for playing with us. A little bit of subtraction bingo. That was our last activity for this lesson. Can everyone say goodbye? Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.